Sorbitol, also known as glucitol, is a sugar alcohol with a sweet taste which the human body metabolizes slowly. It can be obtained by reduction of glucose, changing the aldehyde group to a hydroxyl group. Most sorbitol is made from corn syrup, but it is also found in apples, pears, peaches, and prunes. It is converted to fructose by sorbitol 6-phosphate 2-dehydrogenase. Sorbitol is an isomer of mannitol, another sugar alcohol. The two differ only in the orientation of the hydroxyl group on carbon-2. While similar, the two sugar alcohols have very different sources in nature, melting points, and uses. Uses. Sweetener sorbitol is a sugar substitute. It may be listed under the inactive ingredients listed for some foods and products. Its INS number and E number is 420. Sorbitol has approximately 60% the sweetness of sucrose. Sorbitol is referred to as a nutritive sweetener because it provides dietary energy. 2.6 kilocalories per gram versus the average 4 kilocalories for carbohydrates. It is often used in diet foods, mints, cough syrups, and sugar-free chewing gum. It also occurs naturally in many stone fruits and berries from trees of the genus Sorbus. Laxative sorbitol can be used as a non-stimulant laxative via an oral suspension or enema. As with other sugar alcohols, gastrointestinal distress may result when food products that contain sorbitol are consumed. Sorbitol exerts its laxative effect by drawing water into the large intestine, thereby stimulating bowel movements. Sorbitol has been determined safe for use by the elderly, although it is not recommended without consultation with a clinician. Sorbitol is found in some dried fruits and may contribute to the laxative effects of prunes. Sorbitol was discovered initially in the fresh juice of mountain ash berries in 1872. It is found in the fruits of apples, plums, pears, cherries, dates, peaches, and apricots. Coli, as it is usually incapable of fermenting sorbitol, but 93% of known E. coli strains are capable of doing so. A treatment using sorbitol and ion exchange resin sodium polystyrene sulfonate helps remove excess potassium ions when in a hyperkalemic state. The resin exchanges sodium ions for potassium ions in the bowel, while sorbitol helps to eliminate it. In 2010 the U.S. FDA issued a warning of increased risk for gene necrosis with this combination. Sorbitol is also used in the manufacture of soft gels to store single doses of liquid medicines. Healthcare, food, and cosmetic uses Sorbitol often is used in modern cosmetics as a humectant and thickener. Sorbitol often is used in mouthwash and toothpaste. Some transparent gels can be made only with sorbitol, as it has a refractive index sufficiently high for transparent formulations. It is also used frequently in sugar-free chewing gum. Sorbitol is used as a cryoprotectant additive in the manufacture of shorimi, a processed fish paste. It is also used as a humectant in some cigarettes. Sorbitol sometimes is used as a sweetener in humectant in cookies and other foods that are not identified as dietary items. Miscellaneous uses a mixture of sorbitol and potassium nitrate has found some success as an amateur solid rocket fuel. Sorbitol is identified as a potential key chemical intermediate for production of fuels from biomass resources. Carbohydrate fractions in biomass such as cellulose undergo sequential hydrolysis and hydrogenation in the presence of metal catalysts to produce sorbitol. Complete reduction of sorbitol opens the way to alkanes, such as hexane, which can be used as a biofuel. Hydrogen required for this reaction can be produced by aqueous phase reforming of sorbitol. 19C6H140613 C6 H14 plus 36 CO2 plus 42 H2O. The above chemical reaction is exothermic. 1.5 moles of sorbitol generate approximately 
approximately one mole of hexane. When hydrogen is co-fed, no carbon dioxide is produced. It is also added after electroporation of yeasts in transformation protocols, allowing the cells to recover by raising the osmolarity of the medium. Medical importance Aldose reductase is the first enzyme in the sorbitol aldose reductase pathway responsible for the reduction of glucose to sorbitol, as well as the reduction of galactose to galactitol. Too much sorbitol trapped in retinal cells, the cells of the lens, and the Schwann cells that myelinate peripheral nerves can damage these cells, leading to retinopathy, cataracts and peripheral neuropathy, respectively. Aldose reductase inhibitors, which are substances that prevent or slow the action of aldose reductase are currently being investigated as a way to prevent or delay these complications, which frequently occur in the setting of long-term hyperglycemia that accompanies poorly controlled diabetes. It is thought that these agents may help to prevent the accumulation of intracellular sorbitol that leads to cellular damage in diabetics. Adverse Medical Effects Sorbitol may aggravate irritable bowel syndrome and similar gastrointestinal conditions, resulting in severe abdominal pain for those affected, even from small amounts ingested. It has been noted that the sorbitol added to SPS can cause complications in the GU tract, including bleeding, perforated colonic ulcers, ischemic colitis and colonic necrosis, particularly in patients with uremia. The authors of the paper in question cite a study on rats in which all uremic rats died on a sorbitol enema regimen whilst uremic rats on non-sorbitol regimens, even with SPS included, showed no signs of colonic damage. In humans, it is suggested that the risk factors for sorbitol-induced damage include immunosuppression, hypovolemia, post-operative setting, hypotension after hemodialysis, and peripheral vascular disease. They conclude that SPS sorbitol should be used with caution and that physicians need to be aware of SPS or Batolgi side effects while managing hyperkalemia overdose effects. Ingesting large amounts of sorbitol can lead to abdominal pain, flatulence, and mild to severe diarrhea. Sorbitol ingestion of 20 grams per day of sugar-free gum has led to severe diarrhea leading to unintended weight loss of 11 kilograms in 8 months. In a woman originally weighing 52 kilograms, another patient required hospitalization after habitually consuming 30 grams per day. Compendial Status Food Chemicals Codex European Pharmacopoeia 6.1 British Pharmacopoeia 2009 Japanese Pharmacopoeia 15